Hello people, uh, this is Doombreaker again and I'm here with another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial was requested by a subscriber of mine. Um, I don't have a lot of time to um, make tutorials because of school but this one was uh, so easy that I thought to myself uh, let's do it now. So. Um, Basically, what he asked was, um, so he, he had an application and he dragged in a picture box and he also dragged in a label, if I can find it, uh, yes, so let's set this to dock, just to make it nice and big, um, and if I choose an image now, I'm just going to cut this part because I don't want you guys to see what's in my uh, pictures because yeah they're my pictures so okay guys I have here for you a picture of Buzz Lightyear realistically drawn so um, as you can see um, the label has this white box around it even if I debug it, the box is still there, which can be uh, annoying. So what he asked was, how do I remove that background? And I came with a simple solution. So you have back color here. You go to it, you go to web, and you press transparent. Now if I debug it, nothing happened. That's because transparent now means that it will um, get the same background color as your form which is still gray so um, to make it so it's the background of the picture uh, all you have to do is uh, go to the form load so I'm just going to undock it fast <clears throat> and press um, I mean type label one dot parent is equal to um, picture box one so if you chose another name for your label it's going to need to be here uh, same with the picture box um, and if we debug it so let's get this back to big um, I'm going to change the font color to white so it's easier to see in the debug come on white <clears throat> start debugging and as you can see the label is now fully transparent even if I put it on his stomach you can see label one so uh, I hope this helped a lot of you guys and uh, made your um, visual basic applications a lot nicer so uh, I see you all in the next tutorial. Bye.